the data we have from uh, Utah and Wyoming shows that uh, even in areas with no uh, traffic flow and uh, that where the baseline is um, pristine uh, air quality, uh, that hydrofracking alone can create um, ozone levels um, that are above a, a legal attainment. Um, now, ozone is not um, a chemical that's uh, generated by diesel trucks or by the wellheads. Rather, ozone is a triangle of oxygen that's created when volatile organic compounds waft up from the wellhead, such as toluene, benzene, and xylenes, and mix with the nitrous oxides from the diesel exhaust, from the compressors and the generators and the trucks. And so when sunlight hits these things, a chemical reaction happens and you get ozone. Now, ozone is a powerful cellular poison, um, and it's uh, linked to inflammation. It's not a carcinogen, but it appears to make metastases to lungs more likely. So in other words, if you have breast cancer, let's say, and you're breathing a lot of uh, lung uh, air pollution, your lungs are inflamed in such a way that errant cancer cells are more likely to set up shop there and form a, a metastasis. Uh, ozone also stunts lung development in children, in addition to triggering asthma. So when you're exposed to ozone in either um, in, in infancy or in early childhood, while your lungs are still developing, you actually grow a smaller set of lungs than if you would otherwise. And research in some of our major cities shows that this can actually interfere with, let's say, athletic performance in adolescence. So you end up growing a smaller set of lungs, and that can uh, compromise your respiratory ability for life. So these are the things that we're now worried about with uh, Wyoming and Utah's air in, in places where we had no air quality problems. By contrast, we have ozone alerts every summer here in upstate New York. So we're not starting with the baseline of pristine air. We have, um, we're at the tailpipe end of some of the uh, coal burning power plants in the Ohio Valley. We have a lot of traffic. And so we already struggle with uh, air attainment uh, uh, standards. And so uh, the kind of uh, density of uh, fracking that would come um, which is pretty much required because the, the bubbles of gas under, under the uh, shale are so dispersed that to do fracking, it's kind of a shock and awe operation. You have to have a lot of wells, um, and all of these require a thousand different uh, uh, trucks. And so the air pollution is going to be an inevitable consequence. In that part of Wyoming, there's uh, no other industrial activity. There are not a lot of highways. And so what began as some of the most pristine air in the nation after shale gas extraction came to that community, the amounts of ozone in the air uh, were comparable to what we see in some of our highly polluted cities, uh, such as Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, we've already done the studies showing that children who breathe uh, ozone at those uh, levels have health effects. So we can predict that in Wyoming, um, we'll see some of the health effects in, in those children that we, might, that we have already documented in, in Los Angeles. Uh, my concern as a biologist for the children of New York is that we would achieve ozone unattainment far more rapidly than even Wyoming um, because uh, we've already got um, ozone problems already. Uh, and, and these are very expensive problems uh, to solve. And as the mother of an asthmatic child myself, I can tell you that um, it's a very parent-intensive experience to have a child who can't breathe. And it's only the, the moratorium that the assembly and that the governor has provided me as a mother that stands between me and, and respiratory harm to my child. Already I've seen my neighbors uh, talking about leaving the area, I receive, um, many, from my own readers, um, I receive emails saying if fracking is coming, maybe I won't retire in Ithaca after all, maybe we should leave before uh, we can't, you know, my buyer can't get a mortgage for the house. Um, and so I see signs already of an exodus from upstate New York. Surely uh, good people leaving and, and with all of their tax dollars and their uh, willingness to pay for schools, is, it cannot be part of sustainable economic growth in upstate New York.